Hello everyone and welcome back to Lewis News, your number one YouTube channel for all types of Spider-Man news. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse once again. We are getting loads of updates with Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. So everything that's come out over the last couple of days, I'm going to be covering it in this one video today. Usually we break down the news as soon as it comes out, so it's more fragmented, it's more sporadic over the week. But since I haven't covered anything over the last couple of days, I'm going to be covering all the latest Spider-Verse news in this one video. And to make sure that you don't miss any Spider-Verse, Spider-Man news from the games, movies, and the shows, or even the comic books to some extent. Make sure you're subscribed because this is your number one channel for Spider-Man news. But with that being said, let's get straight into it. So the first thing we're going to talk about is Shamik Moore, who plays Miles Morales in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and ultimately across and beyond the Spider-Verse as well, about him potentially playing the role of Miles Morales in live action and potentially in the MCU. And he came out and said, I feel like everyone knows that I would be a great live action Miles Morales. It just depends on how old they want Miles to be. The time they're ready to do the live action movie. Now, this is promising because along with this, we have actually got Amy Pascal potentially teasing a Miles Morales live action debut as well, with her saying that fans will have to wait a couple of years to see what Sony actually does with Miles Morales in live action. So this means that they already have plans for Miles Morales in live action. And Shamik Moore coming out and saying that he would love to play Miles Morales in live action and saying that he would be a great Miles means that potentially we are going to be getting some variation of the character in live action. Now, whether that's with the MCU or whether that's a part of the Sonyverse, I'm not so sure. But the way that Amy Pascal worded it is Sony, not Marvel and Sony, just Sony. So that says to me that with Peter Parker continuing in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, then Miles Morales will be the Sonyverse Spider-Man, the live action Sonyverse Spider-Man. Now, obviously, I could be looking into this way too much, and there have been rumors that Miles Morales potentially will be showing up in MCU Spider-Man 4 as Peter's roommate. So there is just a chance that Amy Pascal is abbreviating here and just saying Sony because Sony do own the rights to the Spider-Man character. But I do think it's interesting that they are talking about plans for Miles Morales, which I think is really, really cool. But let's move on to some more photos that we have got exclusively from the film as well. As you can see, this first one is of Miguel O'Hara and Jessica Drew. This is a really nice shot. Once again, displaying the color palettes, displaying just how cool the art style is for this movie. I really, really enjoy anything that comes out about this film. Every shot in that trailer, every shot shot that we have got exclusive to Empire Magazine or anywhere else that has come out from Across the Spider-Verse has been absolutely phenomenal and it looks incredible. I cannot wait to see this movie. Visually, it's going to knock it out of the park. And the second one is of Gwen Stacy, aka Spider-Gwen. This looks like Miles' universe from the looks of it, or it could be Gwen Stacy's universe, either one. We know we're going to be seeing Gwen Stacy's universe in this movie and we're going to be getting a lot more backstory to Gwen Stacy, so hopefully this is a screenshot from that part of the movie. But yeah, it just looks awesome. I, I can't wait to see Spider-Gwen in this movie once again. It's going to be absolutely awesome. But moving on, we have got Oscar Isaac talking about the film as well. I'm praising Phil Lord and Chris Miller and the work that they do on these Spider-Verse movies. And he came out and he said that... Phil Lord and Chris Miller's way of working is a beautiful combination of finding pathos and humor, but also making fun of it and being willing to try anything. So I think this is just a testament to the hard work that goes in by Phil Lord and Chris Miller. We also know that they are going to be producing and very heavily involved with the Silk and Spider-Man Noir TV show that Sony are currently making with Amazon Prime. So that gives me a lot of hope for those Sony projects because standalone Sony projects in the Sony universe that are live action tend to not be the best. We refer to the Venom movies and Morbius as examples. Obviously, Craven and Madam Web and those other films could turn that perception around, but at this moment in time, it does seem like Sony is very much on a decline when it comes to their solo movies that they make of Spider-Man characters. Hopefully, Phil Lord and Chris Miller can come in and do a job like Kevin Feige or do a job like Jon Favreau or do a job like Dave Filoni from Star Wars and where they take specific projects and they kind of just make them really good, if you know what I mean. Like, Dave Filoni is a big example because we know that the Star Wars sequel trilogy didn't really do that well. Dave Filoni came in, helped with a bunch of stuff with The Mandalorian, Jon Favreau as well, and that is now largely considered one of the best, if not the best product of Disney Star Wars that has come out. So I think Phil Lord and Chris Miller can do a job for Sony here, especially when it comes to the live action shows. And Oscar Isaac, obviously, who plays Spider-Man 2099 in Across and Beyond the Spider-Verse has come out and said that, yeah, they've done a really good 
good job with these movies and they're not afraid to take risks. They're not afraid to step outside the box, which I really like. And I'm glad that we're getting mutual praise all around for this movie. If you're excited for Spider-Man Across and Beyond the Spider-Verse, make sure to leave a like on this video. Comment down below what do you think about Miles Morales potentially making his debut in live action at some point in the near future. Also, let me know what you think of these new images that we've got exclusively from the film. And also let me know what you think about Phil Lord and Chris Miller and Oscar Isaac praising them as well. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care and peace.